You are in your workshop, trying to focus on the work at hand, but your mind wades in a fog of exhaustion and soreness. Good evening, my love. I wanted to check in on you. I... Now it has been four months, and I know you insist that I cease worrying, but... I fear that this is not something I am capable of. Well, here, I brought you some water. You are welcome, darling. May I sit with you? I've made certain my duties for the evening are done. Hmm? You want me to begin teaching you how to be a royal tomorrow morning? But, darling, you're still clear... Uh, oh, well, as pleasant as that sudden kiss was, I still think... <laughs> Darling, please, <laughs> you are fiery tonight, but even if you keep kissing me, you are... Uh, uh, my, my, pushing me on the bed now. Ah, uh, Jim, as heavenly as it is to see you in that position... I am genuinely concerned. You've been keeping yourself busy with work. You've been arrested. I worry. Hmm? What? Why are you asking that, darling? Of course. I'm kind to you. Of course I adore you. Love you. I have... I have since the moment I laid eyes on you. Ah, I see. Yes. A man claiming as such might cause alarm, I suppose. One of an obsessed stalker instead of a love at first sight. Oh, it is different from my kind, my sweet. You become so attuned to every inner machination, every internal movement. It's agony for the first few months, really. You can uh, hear your own body working. And every little abnormality makes you think you're about to die. Hmm... No, I like playing with your hair while talking. It's so uh, very soft. <clears throat> ah, as I was saying, once you acclimate, you become hyper-aware of your needs and your desires. Well, uncertainty fades away and, well, an ascendant like myself will only love once in his lifetime. Lust is one thing, but the kinship I felt the moment you smiled at me, I knew. I simply knew, then and there, that... I'd give you the world, if only you asked. You thought you were just a toy to me. Well, yes, I suppose that's not surprising, given your upbringing. If I did something that made you think of such, I... Oh, oh sweetheart. I don't know how to love all that well, either. I do my best, but the urges are strong. They're possessive, chauvinistic, even violent. I sit here, spouting what a good man might do, but really, uh, I am not a good man. A good king, perhaps, but not a good man. You think I'm a good man? <laughs> A flattery is appreciated, but I fear that I still think you ought to rest more before we get into prepping you for royalty. Please, can you tell me why you are so insistent? Ah, I see. You don't want to feel helpless and trapped with your thoughts. Mm, I have noticed that you've had more, uh, um, energy as of late. The Archmage told me that this mania may happen on occasion along with the lows, as he put it. I would hate to begin your training only for you to be discouraged. <sighs> yes, yes, you are your own person, and I cannot command you otherwise. Very well, but, but on one condition. Answer me, please. Why did you say that you don't know how to love? Ah. Uh, you feel as though you are 
falling in love with me. Are you sure? That, uh, that makes me feel... I, uh, wow. Uh, my, my jaw hurts from smiling like this. Thank you, darling. I could ask for no better feeling than this. And what you've gifted me, the embers of your own pain. I could ask for no greater gift than your love, my gem. I will happily train you to be my one on the throne next to me. And no greater one there could be. Of course, darling, you may peruse uh, the armory and interact with our soldiers as you see fit. They know to take your word to heart. Actually, that raises a point somewhat. I will need to ask our Archmage if he can procure a certain medley of herbs from a far-off mountain range. Wait, did I not explain how... <sighs> Ascendant vampires are very... very... <sighs> we are good at making... more of us. <laughs> Those herbs help keep the issue of... Uh, Children, at bay, until we choose to have them willingly. They become stronger without chosen, especially when the feelings are reciprocated. If you love me, and with how often we've... Uh, uh, I suppose I'm trying to be prepared, is the short of it. <laughs> now, now, you've initiated as often as I have, darling. Uh, perhaps more. I fear we've annoyed our poor fairy half-son to death. Uh, well, <laughs> I do have a bit left, my darling, if you are feeling the mood. Oh, you just need to send off some shipment, or just well. Oh, very well. You go and send off your list of requested materials to Dralius before returning to Lothair. All sorted. Good. Come here. One more thing. <laughs> Darling, you really need to bring these things up before you start running your hands under my shirt like that. <laughs> oh, what can your king do for you? The Gaia hands? Oh, yes. You'd mentioned they'd reach out concerning their clockwork angel. Have you decided to entertain them? Mm, very well. I shall help prep for their arrival in the morning. Now, where were we? Lord Gaiahan, I hope the journey to Idlewise found you well. Good, good. Yes, please, allow me to introduce you to my... Fiancé, they are being most gracious by agreeing to examine your angel. I hope you understand. Hmm? Uh, hold on, dear. I'm much taller than you. Takes me a bit of effort to lend you my ear. There. What are we whispering about? I'll handle it. Gentlemen, please. My gem would like to do an initial screening of your angel in private, for the sake of their comfort. I'd be happy to offer you both a tour while they do as much. No, no, I, I don't mind. It'll give me a chance to tell you both how brilliant my partner is. In fact, did you know that they made their first functional clockwork at the age of 11? <laughs> yes, quite the marvel. You guide the clockwork angel into your workshop and examine them. An hour or so later, you rejoin the gentleman in the throne room. 
Ah, there you are, darling. How was your initial inspection? Anything unusual? Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. Please, help yourselves to the food and drink as you see fit. And if Henry begs for scraps, just give him some. Otherwise, he'll try and gnaw on your ankles. <laughs> Little goblin. <coughs> Pardon me. Is everything all right, my job? You suspect the angel has been abused. Oh, I see. I'll handle it. What? You are surprised that I would rush to the aid of a clockwork angel? A person is a person, my love. I believe you taught me that, yes? You said the angel had a message for me as well. Should I speak with them privately? Ah, I wouldn't be able to understand them. I see. You did say a while back that the magic that intertwines with the clockwork has something of its own language. Calling on other spells is easy, as we know the words to draw forth that power, but with clockwork, it is difficult. Huh. Perhaps in time I will be able to learn. Ah, yes, the message. Please tell me. <laughs> uh, uh, right, my telekinesis. Apologies, my gem. Hearing Prince Rupin's name apparently makes me... Oh, God damn it. Those are thousands of years old. Fine. Focus like that. So, the Queen of Everfall intends to launch a war campaign against us. Hmm? On behalf of a stupid, foolish, conniving, backstabbing son of a bitch. Offspring. Uh, that is entertaining. Our army outnumbers her significantly. <sighs> yes, yes. The Wraith technology has been a slow rollout with everything that has happened. And fighting an army of clockwork angels doesn't seem particularly appealing. <laughs> it would be a hard-fought war, even if the King of Moonvale lent aid. Ah, the Deep Fins are largely just clusters of smaller colonies. Oh, I doubt they'll be able to contribute much. Uh, no? Uh, the Clockwork Angel has been doing... What? <laughs> that... Uh, wow. Uh, devious. Very devious. Challenging lords and ladies via the guy hands. Killing said lord or lady instead of the clockwork angel representing them. <sighs> Interesting. If they keep climbing that social ladder, I'll be able to get closer to Queen and Neil. I'd like to stay here for a bit with you. Do I need to be jealous, darling? <laughs> of course not. Do you wish for me to have the guy hands arrested, for the time being? Or shall we let them travel back without the angel? Hmm? Ah, if either one, or both, of them may be violent or abusive if provoked. Uh, those two are hard to read. The younger one is anxious, and twitches whenever the older brother glares at him. Ah, very well. Let me test the waters, and I'll tell the guards to watch the entrance to our chambers. I'll be fine, dearest. It's cute that you worry about me, though. <laughs> now, go on. A bit of tense time passes until the door opens and Lothair strides in with a sigh and a knife poking out of his chest. Well, your instincts were on the money. Those two scrappy, gangly boys did get a bit uh, explosive. <laughs> The old one stabbed me in the, uh, as you would say, dear, tit. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Calm yourself, I'm fine. And those idiots are in the dungeons for now. Darling, please. <laughs> I know you're worried, but we have a guest. Well, I very much doubt the angel wants to see you pulling my shirt off to check my wound is all, darling. Uh, fine. Yeah. 
There. Oh, how does it look? Did the angel say something, darling? <laughs> no? All oh, right. The knife. Let's just... There we are. Another scar to join the numerous others, I suppose. Ah, tastes a bit bitter. I do hope your lips will find said scar often. To soothe me, of course. Now, why would you giggle? Why, you two are in on something. I know it. Ah, I see. I see. <laughs> What's that? You want me to flex a bit? Darling, you're encouraging terrible behaviour. Oh, and I love it. There. Are you two little gremlins satisfied now? No. I absolutely will not take my pants off in front of our guest, darling. Well, no. No? no? Uh, I think I need to be intensely drunk for that. Because ascendant vampires get a bit shy about showing off for others when we're that chosen. <laughs> oh, you know how to get me to do it, hmm? I bet you do, little minx. I'd request you not to do that. You know, my feelings on... Well, taking you in front of others. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Telling me all the devious ideas you have to destroy in me of what has come. <laughs> ah, my, my, my. That is intensely tempting, dearest. Oh, you whispering dark, naughty thoughts in my ear does get me going like nothing else. The angel wants to whisper to my ear, too. Phantom, you're okay with this, Joe. <laughs> my, you are a wild one, aren't you? Ah, oh, very well. I shall sit upon our bed, and you may both whisper in my ears as you please. I do hope you don't expect me to have my pants off in a hurry, my dears. Two are going to ruin me, aren't you? Sorry to bother, Your Majesty. I know you've been struggling with the Gaia hands lately these past several months. Uh, however, to help alleviate your mind, I've received notes of your excellent performance with your practice of becoming a queen. This comes directly from our beloved King Lothair. Yes, indeed. I won't take long. This, here, is for you. I'm afraid I sense dire news from this missive. What's the matter? Uh, Master Lothair, he's in the stables. Do you require me to come with you? All right, then. I shall remain here. Yes, well done, Malady. You've managed to kick open the trough. Yet again. And have subsequently ruined breakfast for everyone here. What am I going to do with you? Hmm? Do I need to sick Henry out once more? Oh, you are a tough old donkey, Malady. But even you... Oh! Hello, <laughs> my gem. Did you need me for something, darling? <sighs> the official declaration of war from Queen Inhew. I'd hoped that the old bat might have some better sense, but, apparently, a whiny little son has triggered some strange semblance of maternal instinct. Ugh. Very well. We're in a bit of an awkward space, but this is manageable. 
Oh, it's, it is awkward due to us not being truly wed yet. Thus, it will seem as though I am lashing out over a lover instead of my wife, and so I might perceive that as me being an impudent brat. Do not fret, my love. Stable hand Marcus, can you take Malady here so I may have a chat with my beloved? Good. Now, now you have my full attention. Jem, is something wrong with your prosthetic leg? Uh, are you all right? <sighs> Jem, you, you proposed just like that. You have a ring and everything. What do you mean, what do I mean? I am meant to... I suppose I already have. Oh, this is embarrassing. My tiny bride on her knees, so confidently, and taking my hand. Yes, of course I will wed you, you cheeky little devil. <laughs> Does this mean you wish to proceed with our wedding ceremony? <laughs> ah, next week. Well... I believe we can make that happen. Uh, the only thing that was causing a hitch before was, well, your father being unwilling to hand you over to me. Oh, are you saying you don't care for his willingness to give you away or not anymore? <sighs> I know this is painful for you. All of this has been. But I'm glad you are ready to begin our lives as husband and wife. As king and queen, as close as we've grown, I have an ache in me and my heart. For you to be my queen in title, as well as in my bed, and of course, my heart. Yes, I will tell the priest immediately, my love. I simply cannot wait to be yours, holy and truly. Yes, indeed, your highness. You look splendid. The mirror does you justice. Here, it is time. I will lead you to the reception hall. Your king awaits upon the days. He is truly draped in his finest. Henry waits by his side as per your request. Oh, I know. It may feel surreal, but I can assure you, your highness, this is a beautiful day, meant just for the two of you. It is all real. Hush, hush now, everybody! Now! As an ascendant vampire, your majesty, you have chosen to speak your vows from the heart. Please, you may now proceed. Hmm. The moment I saw you, a million fantasies played out before my eyes. Something as simple as a walk on a distant shore to imagining what children we may be blessed with. I admit that I knew not how to approach you. I feared you would perceive me not as someone you may one day love, but as someone you would only resent or fear. Yet, you looked past all that and saw the man behind all of it. You saw me. I am infinitely fortunate that the man you saw through the veil as was one good enough for you, my gem. I have not been, nor will I ever be, perfect. Even still, you take me to new, interesting places. Your razor-sharp wit, your brilliance, your kindness, your strength. I am so proud of you, my darling. And so very proud to be your husband. And the Queen has prepared her own vows. Good. You may now proceed. I love 
you to my gem. Priest, please, I am barely holding myself back. Yes, of course. Apologies for the tardiness. Your final vows. <clears throat> As Lothair of the Kingdom Vitalwise, I do promise my loyalty, my dedication, and my undying love to you, my gem. So long as you will have me as your husband. And the queen? Then, as we are, we now greet our kingdom as husband and wife. Let that greeting be with a kiss, my darling. As you turn your face to your subjects, you see your father lurking in the back. He meets your gaze briefly before he slips out of the room. We are wet now, my love. How does it feel? <laughs> I'm glad. I as well. Now, I do believe you once told me you wanted to be drunk enough to start a fist fight, at least once. I think you'll find the wine, um, extra spicy tonight, my beautiful bride. But, just so you know, Henry and I can only do so much to defend your honor once you get riled up. <laughs> Go on. Go play as much as your heart desires. I'll be waiting. It really is pouring out there. All right, we're in here for a reason. Now, I don't understand why Queen Inu hasn't made a move yet in all these two years. Ugh. I wish... Jem! Oh, God damn it all! I knew we'd been in here for too long without ordering food. No, no, I'm not mad, my sweet. Just concerned. I'll have some food sent down. Please. <laughs> Sit. Angel, you do not get to give me that look. You've been with us for almost two years now. You've expelled any right to smirk at us. <sighs> right. The Wraith technology has been fully rolled out. Per our records, 84% of the vampires in Idlewise converted. The remainder have requested to stay as they are, which we are respecting. How are we on phase two? <laughs> oh, I'm not allowed to make faces at my wife, hmm? even if they are the my wife is so smart type of faces. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Uh, phase two. The angel has been able to avoid detection in their endeavors. So far, five noble families have had their titles claimed by Ajua. I suspect Inu is rushing to have that law revoked. <laughs> A bit late, isn't it? Uh, yes, the other clockwork angels are offered safety here, provided they agree to supply the necessary body heat for our people. I've made it very clear that any clockwork that is abused or mistreated will be given justice by my hand. You don't need to worry, Angel. And no, your little inventor twins have not been harmed. It took them an unusually long amount of time to cool down. Even speaking with one of our counsellors took forever to bear any fruit. Uh, hmm? What's that? You... Hmm. If you are certain you want them to be released to your custody, Angel, that's your choice. Their crimes are against you, not me. Knife to the tit aside, mind. I'll issue the order, then. This must mean you will be returning to Everfall to continue your infiltration, yes? Ah, understood. Do try and be careful once you go, old friend. What is that? Are you saying you and my gem have a surprise for me? Oh dear. How worried do I need to be? Ah! I see the pocket dimension spell has come in hand. The... What? It is massive. This looks less humanoid than the other clockwork, but 
gods. This thing could step down once and crush an entire village. Jim. Angel, you've been building that all this time. <laughs> I am eternally grateful that I left this up to the smart ones. I beg your pardon, Angel. We don't typically keep buns on hands for celebration. I certainly don't keep any warmed in an oven. Uh, forgive me if I am rude, but can you... Uh, eat? Uh, no, we do not typically see wild stalk around her either. Are you feeling all right, Angel? Uh, you're giving me that smug grin again. Uh, yes, definitely the type that says you're about to do something mischievous. Hmm? Uh, are you asking me for a name for this ginormous thing? Yes, I suppose names are important for uh, your babies. Hmm. Let's see. How about waiter? No? Uh, servant? Hmm. The pose he's in somewhat reminds me of a busboy clearing tables. Uh, how about busboy? Ah, you like it, Jim? I'm glad. Mm. Wait. You don't need to tell me. Sweetheart, you are with child. Feel. I. Uh, wow. Well, uh, um, uh, give me a moment, please. I think I. Jim! Jim! Where have you... Oh, how long was I out for? Oh, an hour. Come here. If you thought I was bad before, <laughs> you're going to have to deal with me being extra protective now. Oh, my sweet. Oh, I... I can't wait to meet them. See what they're like. Uh, I'm going to love them so much more than I already do. Nope, oh, but I'm being a bad husband. How do you feel? Uh, are you nervous? Uh, yes. Dealing with a war looming on the horizon will make it more difficult. Oh, you are especially strong after what happened with Rupin. You don't need to promise yourself that. You are stronger than any other. <laughs> Darling, it is okay to be vulnerable. To be afraid. Rearing children can be difficult, but I will be there every step of the way. One hundred gold on it being a girl. <laughs> You'll take that bet. All right. Uh, maybe she'll inherit some of that confidence too. One may hope. One hundred gold to you if we have a wonderful little boy instead of an intelligent, sweet little girl. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, uh, that brings a painful reminder to the surface again. Yes, you're... Father, Jim, he's, he's been awful through all of this. I know it is ultimately your choice, but I want my opinion heard. I do not wish him to be around our children unless he can provide to be less like a tub of acid spilled over our heads. Oh, I know. I know there were good times too. It doesn't have to be decided now, all right? I just... Uh, want to make certain they are protected and know they are loved more than the astronomers of the hearts in the sky above. <sighs> hmm. Yes, you will be so loved. <laughs> oh, I hope you don't think I look scary when you are born, little one. I know I can be quite imposing. Yeah. <sighs> I don't have it in me to combat you on my person being cute anymore. If I'm cute, then so be it. 
I am cured. Now, come here and finish your water. If not for me, then at least for Henry. Oh, look at him. He's simply heartbroken that his mother isn't taking care of herself. <laughs> Sell all you want, mongrel. You'll be needing to share before too long. Your Highness, you requested a mirror portal. Ah, absolutely. I shall contact Marcel Fair. And all of this is thanks to your queen, boys, so I suggest you be grateful. <laughs> she is absolutely a genius, radiant as a falling star. Just so perfect. Oh, you tire of me talking of my wife. Oh, I should cut out your tongues for that. Fine. If you lot would rather speak on something else, then we should focus on our mission. As you've heard, we are doing reconnaissance for now. Inia's troops were seen attempting to bypass the mountain pass into Idlewise. Now, we don't permit that, do we? We head them off, take them without conflict or violence, and bring them back for questioning. Understood? Now, now, you're all grown vampires. Steal yourself. Your king is here, and I am with you all the way. You can trust that I will fight to my fullest. After all, I have a wife and child on the way back home, and no amount of fighting or war is going to stop that. Ah, oh, that's right. We hadn't announced that yet. Well, do try and keep your tongues from waggling, yes? My wife and I have a running bet on whether it'll be a boy or a girl. <laughs> Yes, I dare say that the image of me having a little girl's... Silent. Silent. We're not alone. Prepare yourselves for combat. Please, my queen, it is all right. Uh, Lothair, the king, is trained for thousands of years in both combat and battle strategy. He made me promise that I would not allow you to engage in stressful situations for the sake of you and your child. Now, please, just try and rest. If you need anything at all, I'll be with you at all times. Would you like to retire to your quarters for now? Hmm. Of course, Your Highness. I will stand in while you get some rest. The moment you're by yourself, you rush to your workshop and open a mirror portal again. Get to cover! God damn it! Get to cover! No, I do not know what the damn thing is. I've never seen such a massive entity floating in the air. Oh, oh gods, that's a shell. Cover! Ah! Oh, oh, hells! If I can fly. Get up there. Maybe I can stop it. All of you, hold tight in this alcove. Understood? No, I, I'll be fine. I made a promise to my wife. Damn it. Damn it all. Should I fall? One of you needs to tell my wife what I've said here. Understood? I will come home to you, my love. I promised. And no force in this planet. <laughs> My wing. Jim. No, I, I. I do not want to leave you. Forgive me, my world. I never wish to leave the weight of the throne of motherhood on you. God, the ground is rumbling hard enough that a damned avalanche. <laughs> Bus boy. No, that means. Jim, Jim, get off the battlefield, please. You're going to destroy the airship. <sighs> okay, then your queen has arrived at our rescue. Given us a chance. Don't waste it. Search for survivors and recover what you can. 
I need to get to her immediately. No! Darling! Stay there! I... No, don't come to get me! I am meant to be protecting you, God damn it! It doesn't matter if my wing is broken, I... Stubborn as they come. Uh, how did you know that we were in danger? You opened a portal by yourself. Uh, I knew letting the Archmage teach you some spells was a mistake. What? I'm not being ridiculous. You're pregnant. And you're out here piloting a giant clockwork, punting airships into oblivion. The witch admittedly is sexy, but, but, but not an excuse. What? I'm not yelling. I... <laughs> Please. Jem, I don't know what I'd do if... if something were to happen. <laughs> yes, I suppose it is fair to assume you'd feel the same about me. Perhaps my views on allowing one's wife on the battlefield are old-fashioned. I am older sin. <laughs> what do you make of that airship, then? I've seen smaller ones, but none's equipped for warfare. If, uh, God forbid, if a fleet of them exists and, and the EU launches them against Idlewise, I... I dare say we'd be in trouble. It took two years to build Dustboy. Huh. <sighs> Excellent point. Angels have been steadily growing more powerful and never fall, and Inu is losing her mind trying to stop them. Uh, yes. With the other clockwork angels, they've assembled and won over. Uh, perhaps we could see about sabotage. <clears throat> After all, they are no doubt the ones shouldering the burden. <clears throat> I don't know a lot of things that can knock an ascendant on his ass, much less a wraith. No, no, I'll be alright, my love. I cannot afford to be let out for long. Our soldiers need me. D absolutely not. You are not trained to lead an army, and while I worship you, you are, you are pregnant. I know you want to help, my love, but I need you at home. The people need their queen. Especially the clockwork angels you've helped bring here. All right? Good. Thank you. Uh, uh, could you... Um, please, uh, drop me off with the men? Uh, love, they're already never going to let me live this down. So what's one more insult, huh? I do not just want to ride in Busboy's hand again. I... You know what? Maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs>